you know, when you ask yourself the question, why do you trade currencies? And I think many of us who either are in the initial stages, maybe you're, you're a person who just initially um, began investigating trading or you're learning, or maybe you're someone who's somewhat of an expert, or maybe you're a pro. Okay, I think we're all in this to try to take hold of our financial futures. I mean, that's really what it's all about. Trying to, to, to make a positive change in your life so that you don't have to grind it out for 30 years in some job that maybe you don't really like, that maybe you're not really happy with. This is an alternative. And this is an alternative that you can learn part-time on your own time because the markets are open 24 hours a day. It's different than trading stocks or options. So when you ask yourself, my God, why do you want to try something that's extremely risky? Well, what isn't risky, first of all? What isn't risky in this world? Do you, why don't you try opening a business? Why don't you try? People are, oh, I want to go. I want to open a small business. I want to go. I want to work for myself. Well, why don't you investigate how much it takes to open a small business? Let's say you want to open a small retail business. Let's say you want to open a yogurt stand in the mall or a small watch shop or something like that. Oh, by the way, you're going to need a quarter of a million dollars capital to get that going, sir. Not to mention dealing with all the regulations, hiring employees, insurance, oh, somebody didn't show up to work, customers that continually complain, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, these are all the realities of running a business, and it takes a lot of experience. And I'm not saying that people aren't, aren't successful with doing that, but as far as the initial cost and experience required to open a small, successful small business is pretty substantial. And if you compare that to the effort and initial investment required to start currency trading, all right, it's a huge discrepancy. And I would actually say, even though people say, oh, currency trading is extremely risky, I would say opening a small business is actually a hell of a lot more risky than if you investigate trading currencies and discover if it's for you or not. If you discover, if you try to open a business and discover it's not for you, that could cost you a quarter million dollars or speculating in the real estate market or trying to flip a house all right there are a lot of ways to supplement your income out there and I think as far as risk reward currency trading is pretty attractive that's something to consider and that's why I investigated it and that's why uh, I actually recommend it to people who are looking to try and supplement their income and if you're worried about oh my god I might lose some money yeah you're right you might and actually when you initially start you probably will within two years of trading if you haven't at least lick on some level liquidated an account, then I have. I, I would say that you have an experienced currency trading. Not to say that your goal is to lose, but it's a very tough skill set to develop, and the only way you learn is by making mistakes. So, in order for you to get to a level where you're really improving yourself, where it's something that can enhance your life financially, whether it's potential extra earned income or it replaces your current job, the only way to do that is to go through the process. And the process is that you learn through experience and you learn from your mistakes. And that, at times, is going to cost you money. But so what? You could potentially receive comments from people who maybe don't understand the FX markets or are maybe frustrated with their own lives. And they'll give you comments like, see, I told you, you, you just lost $5,000 on doing that Ponzi scheme thing on the Internet, okay? Well, those are, the, those are the objectors that you're going to have to ignore because there's nothing wrong with risking money trying a new endeavor that could potentially change your life. There's nothing wrong with that. This is a potential skill set that can absolutely tr change your life, but it's also a skill set that's extremely difficult to master if you're not willing to put the time in. You know, I don't do this because I'm in love with the markets or any of that kind. I do this because it has potential to replace my job that I don't want to grind out for another 30 years. And even if I do grind this job, job up for another 30 years and save a little bit every month, there's no guarantee that that's going to be enough to sustain me when, when I'm older and I no longer can work, let alone being able to afford a property somewhere. And I'm not talking about an apartment on the beach. I'm talking about a two-bedroom condo in a decent area, uh, being able to purchase something like that without going massively into debt. So this is a way that, to me, is one of the safest ways actually out there to potentially generate additional income or replace your current income as far as you quitting your job. You could potentially lose money, but guess what? That's fine. Why don't you investigate how much a four-year degree in the United States of America costs these days? Okay, That's going to set you back $200,000.
So, so don't talk to me about potentially losing a couple grand. There is risk with any new skill set or endeavor or anything you're learning, and that's just part of the game. And I think that all of us who either are are experienced or new, we're all we all basically have the same common goal, and that's to improve our lives and to make things uh, more financially secure for ourselves. And that's what this whole thing is all about. It's not bragging about whether you can read charts or any of that other crap. It's about do I have a vehicle that's going to help me improve my life. That's what currency trading is really all about. For people out there who have either lost money, I mean, I have. I've liquidated accounts before, all right? It's part of the process, man. That's the way I look at it. It is my tuition for learning this skill set. And by the way, that tuition is a hell of a lot less than every college in the United States of America these days. Okay, so that's the, that's the mindset you have to have. If you, if you take a hit or you have a setback, you can't listen to the people who want you to stay on their level for their entire life. Okay, You can't listen to the objectors that are going to try to pull you back into the sheep pasture. If you want to get to the promised land, you have to cross through the jungle. All right, And the sheep stay in the pasture. So don't be a sheep. Anyways, those are my thoughts regarding why I trade currencies, and thanks for listening.